Hi guys, it's Jerica Ashley here, and I'm here with just a quick haul from Target. Um, I went there looking for a Harry Potter shirt. I did find one for when I go to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, um, but it didn't. It doesn't fit, so I have to bring it back, which is really sad because it's really cute. But it doesn't fit. So while I was there, I picked up a few things. Um, I wanted to try a new shampoo because my hair is very, very dry during the winter. And I wanted to have it more hydrated and silky. So I picked up, it was a two pack. I opened it up already for five bucks. These two for five bucks. And it's Herbal Essences Hydrolicious Silk Boost Swirl Shampoo. Um, with moisturizing and hydration. So I picked up those two. It does smell very good. It smells like strawberries. Um, so hopefully these are good. Picked up those. In the dollar spot where there's items for a dollar or three dollars, I picked up my mom one of these and me one of these. I picked my mom up a blue one and I got a pink one. I just, I couldn't leave him behind. He was so cute. Do you see his face? He's so adorable. I could not leave him behind. Um, he's not a bank or anything. He has a whole, um, I'm just going to put him on my bookcase because I think he's so cute. Um, and my mom's fiance looks like a garden gnome, kind of like, because he's short and he has a beard, so we call him garden, well, I call him a garden gnome. So I got him a blue one for them. So that's what he looks like. He's so cute. And then I go to Target. Every time I go to Target, I stock up on these because I eat them like they're going out of style. And I wanted to bring some for my trip. And I got some mumbas. These remind me, they're the German, um... They're supposed to be like Starburst, but they're less flavorful, but they're really, really good. Like, I love these. I'm hoping that six will be enough, because I'll probably eat three here. <laughs> so then I got that. So then I wandered down the book section. I wanted to pick this book up, because everybody and their mother is talking about it. I have picked it up in the past, and then I brought it back because I didn't want to read it. But everybody's talking about it. It's coming a movie soon, and that is Me Before You by Jojo Moyers. Everybody is talking about this book. Um... It is about this girl. She comes to help a guy who is a paraplegic, I believe, and he's in a wheelchair in their love story. And like I said, everybody is talking about this. So I picked up that. And then I went there specifically looking for City of Bones. Um, because I have had the old covers. I read a little bit of it. I was like, oh, nothing's happening. I don't really like it. But with the new Lady Midnight coming out and everybody raving about this series, I figured I might as well give it a second chance. So I picked up City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, the new edition, which is a little bit more money than the older editions. It was $13.99 and it was on sale for $11 at Target. But that's what it looks like. I don't know who is on the cover. Um, this is book one. It's the one where it makes the people. And I hope to read all of these and then... Uh, Clockwork Angel. I don't know if you have to read that before reading this. I don't know. If you guys know, please let me know below so I know. And then the last book I picked up and the last thing in this haul um, is Near and Dear to My Heart. And this is this is where it ends. Everyone has a reason to fear the boy with a gun. I saw somebody have this. They were doing a review on it. And I had to pick it up. It's, it's in the perspectives of... I think it's... Four students? Yeah, four different pers perspectives over the span of 54 harrowing minutes. Um, and a kid has a gun in the school. And it, this is just so common nowadays. Thank God when I didn't live was in school, it wasn't like with the Sandy Hook. You know, that's in Connecticut. That was close to where I live. Um, so it is a touching, you know, issue. And when I have kids, I don't know how I feel about having them go to regular school. Um, so I definitely wanted to read this. It is a shorter book. It was only $14. Normally I don't pick up books that are this short for $14, um, but it was on sale for $14 again, and the issue was just near and dear to my heart, so I wanted to pick it up and read it. So I'll let you know. This will probably be the next book I read because it seems like it will go by quickly. Um, but that's all the books, guys. It's all the books and all the stuff. So I will talk to you guys later, and if you do know, like I said about this book, do I read... Uh, I think it's Clockwork Angel first before this. Let me know because I'm clueless. Alright, bye guys.